Hi class, uh, I would like to explain the architecture of POS. POS stands for point of sales. POS systems are commonly used in small to medium scale businesses and mostly found in general stores, shopping malls, bars, restaurants, hotels, salons and spas. When a customer decides to buy a product at physical store, the associate will use barcode scanner to look up the item price and POS system will calculate the price including taxes. So once the customer pays, the transaction is finalized and the system updates the inventory count of the product sold. By the end of the each day, the POS systems update the main server with the total number of products sold and it updates the database in the warehouse system. So POS systems typically use hardware components such as cash uh, register or electric point of sale terminal and uh, POS systems uses a software that handle inventory management, customer tracking and sales data analytics. Some POS systems include barcode scanners and credit card readers to streamline the checkout uh, process further. So uh, the image shows the architecture of POS uh, that a business is operated from two different locations uh, with one server present. It looks like a client service system. It shows each server at a location A and B with multiple client systems at the two locations. Uh, in this phenomenon, the server manages most processes and stores all the data while client system requires specified data or process. Server provides output of the client. And I feel like we also need to have a backup server at the location B. Uh, we can also add initial <clears throat> we can also add internet firewalls at the current architecture uh, and also upgrade the server to the client uh, to add more spaces and security levels so that POS systems can offer more benefits for the business includes uh, increasing efficiency and accuracy, uh, reduces cost and mostly uh, customer service. POS systems can lead to the uh, shorten wait time of the more uh, streamlined customer shopping experience so uh, this is my thought and explanation about the architecture of pos so i would request everyone to watch my video and comment your thought on it so that we can exchange the knowledge thanks thanks for your time bye